a real conversation real quick. Like a for real, like let's really chat it up. Like let's really talk. You cannot fit every single situation, every single relationship into one box because people are different. Now, are females naturally one way and males naturally another just based on how God has made us? Yes, that is true. That goes for all of animal kingdom. So I'm not saying to overlook those things, but we have to also factor in things like personality type, upbringing, experiences, traumas, joys, so on and so forth. I had a client or whatever, and she was just like, I don't understand what's going on, Nicole. Like I meet dudes and they're men who are, they're, they're manly men and they take care of everything and they're protectors, they're providers. And you know, I can be in my feminine, but I just don't click with those type of men. And so I said, yeah, that's because you are a dominant woman and you enjoy being in your dominance. What does this mean? She is someone that will do better with a man who is not very assertive. She is someone that will do better with a man who knows how to protect and provide, but who do not need to be leaders because she is already the leader. And there's definitely men out there like that. Maybe what you want is something that's outside of the box of what everybody else is running around here talking about what they want. You would have a much better dating experience and you would be in a lot happier relationships if you would actually go after the kind of people who suit you opposed to what everyone else is telling you that you should be with let's try that stay safe listen y'all you understand telling women to go towards what she should is always gonna fail but this is a funny thing they'll say a masculine woman if you really like being dominant stuff like you could find a feminine man these women are literally gonna here's the funny thing masculine women who are dominant and they want to lead a relationship they will try to coach that man how to be a man because at the end of the day, they still want a man. That's the funniest thing. I never understand how women say that. Oh, well, because I would say, like, you know, if you're such a masculine woman, go date a feminine man. And I know I'm saying it's a joke because I know you won't do it. But women will honestly believe that, oh, no, nah, that's, that's what she should date. No. I don't know how women believe that there are masculine women that just want to sit here. Even the, okay, if that woman is very masculine, right, she still want a masculine man. They don't want feminine. Masculine women do not want feminine men. They want masculine men. For the dumbest reasons, I know they do. Because you understand when she's dating that man, right? Who, if he's feminine and stuff like that, he don't got the characteristics of a real man or whatever. She would try to make him a man. She will argue him, tell him do this, a real man do this and stuff like that. She would tell him everything that she want him to be. That's what women do. So even if she's the one leading the relationship, she'll want that man to take control sometime. Even the most dominant women, they still want a masculine man who's overly dominant against them. They don't want a feminine man. They don't want a feminine man. They're unhappy with that. And you, you know how I know they're unhappy with that? Because they disrespect the guy. They, 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 they over talk him. He's real submissive and stuff like that. She's unhappy. And that's why she's showing them characteristics it's not showing that oh that's the note she's showing them characters because she's unhappy and she's trying to make that man show his real characteristics be a man and he's never going to do it them women are bitter because you know what happens you know how you know she's bitter when she meet a masculine man and they have a conversation and they start talking like regular conversation she's mad about a lot of things when he how he care himself oh why do you act like this why do you say it like this because guess what you are a masculine woman if that's what you want to be cool but when she meet a masculine man, she hates everything about him. But here's the funny thing. She hates everything about him, but she want to be with him. She want to be with him. Like the weirdest turn on. The weirdest turn Like She'll be like, oh, you know, he's just this. He's just this. She will talk about him and she'll want to engage with him a lot because she feels like there's a little bit of her femininity coming out when she's around him. When she go back home. She got all her masculinity back up and she's with a feminine man and she's upset again. She started nagging, complaining and saying all this nonsense and saying, I'm just dominant like that. No, you're unhappy. You're unhappy. You're unhappy. It's like a man being talked down to and disrespected every single day. No man want to live his whole life being disrespected by his woman. Being taught how to be a man by his woman. That's, a, that's not a lifestyle any man want to live. No woman want to sit here and dominate guys. Tell oh, you know, because you gotta understand. Even when you when you watch any videos and stuff, you see a feminine woman. I mean, a masculine woman talk to a masculine man. She acts different. First, she comes off combative. She's arguing like you know how she is. She's masculine. She's out here arguing. She's going back and forth. Oh, da, 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 da. You know, I'm not gonna let this. I'm not gonna let you say this and stuff like that. She's arguing with him. 
But then she sit there and she starts saying, you know what? She started liking the whole persona, the whole enigma. Like, okay, that she, she started thinking, this is what I always wanted. This is what I want. Because the woman don't want to lead the relationship. They get aggressive. They get upset. They're irritated. It's a lot of baggage. She don't want to carry a lot of baggage. So when a woman sits there with a masculine man, she start picking, like I would say, just look how she acts. She's going to start complimenting him. Here's the funny thing. She won't compliment her husband, but she will compliment the man that she so-called hated when the conversation started. But the more she got to know the man, the more he talked and she started, he started exuding himself. And she's like, okay, this is, this is what I, now she's noticing that I'm not going to keep being masculine. I want to go to my feminine, but she's realizing that only that type of man, because they will say, oh, I can just switch it out. No, you, she's just masculine in general, but she would try to show a different nature in front of that guy just so, because she's not attract. She's, she's doing something she naturally never do. Because she's trying to get that man attention. Some women would do things that they never would do for one guy and to do it for another guy. So she's a masculine woman all throughout. But when she meets a very dominant man, she tried to be something she's not feminine. She could naturally be feminine, but she never did that. She grew up masculine. So she got all this masculine traits. It's not easy to just turn it off. She could try to be feminine all this day, but she's not that. And he knows that. He knows like a little tactic because she's she liked what she see. Because if she really was feminine, when that man leaves, she will stay feminine. But if you're only going to be feminine when that man comes around and stuff like that, that's a problem. I'm not masculine only around you. I'm masculine all the time. It doesn't have an off switch. So even the when she did, women be like, oh, well, if masculine women should date feminine guys, you know, you'll be more happy. They won't be more happy. All she's going to do is complain. All she'll do is complain and nag, complain and nag, complain and nag. And he's going to be like, he's just going to get used to it. But when she meet a dominant figure... That's how the women cheat. That's how the women cheat. Them girls with open relationships, she see that that man is not worth their respect. She said, I don't respect him. And she becomes more dominant. She becomes more masculine. Every like them things lead to other things. Like she's she, these women will go out there and go try to find that dominant figure. That's how they'll go cheat. They feel like that man is lacking something. He don't take control of this. He don't do this. So she's gonna go out there and try to source it out. And she's going to start comparing to other guys, you know, like, why you didn't do this? And you would think that she's just having this new epiphany about, no, no, no. She's seen something or a certain guy, and now she's comparing you to that guy every single day. That's what she's doing, guys. All she's doing is comparing you to that guy that she saw, that she saw, oh, he's dominant, he's masculine. She's comparing that masculine woman who dates a feminine man, so-called, when she see a masculine man, she's going to start fantasizing him. And now she's going to tell you why you don't do this, why you don't do this, because she wants you to be him. And women live here mentally. So mentally, she's seen him. But the actions that you're showing is feminine. She's like, that's not who I like. So she got to live in her mind. And every time she comes into reality and she see you, she's upset. She's upset. She starts random arguments. She does this and she says, oh, you know, like she nags and complains and stuff like that. And she'll say, I'm masculine. No. And I'm mad. like, she, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Like, she's coping, guys. She's coping. She's coping because she's a masculine, but she's coping. She's coping. She's just fantasizing the guy. That's all she does. She's coping. All these masculine women don't want to date feminine guys. They want to date masculine. It's the dumbest thing, but yes, they want to date masculine men. So if she's out here nagging and complaining, it's because she have an image of a man in her head and you're not living up to it. And it's not out of 10. It's not just a random guy. It's a guy that exists and she's been talking to. So she's trying to make you become him. Like, I'm subscribed. Let me just say this. And I don't care 